More than a month ago, the child of Elvis and Priscilla died at the age of 54 at her Calabasas home following what was probably a heart attack. Priscilla launched a case against the estate as soon as Lisa Marie was laid to rest in Graceland. Because of this, Riley Keough, Lisa Marie's daughter, and Priscilla had been rumored to be on no speaking terms due to the legal disputes. If you want to know more about it, watch this video. Evidently, Priscilla Presley also had no communication with Lisa Marie Presley before she died suddenly in January 2023. The Post explained how Lisa Marie and her mother had been alienated for roughly eight years before Lisa passed away. According to a source who spoke with the Post, Priscilla's contract did not get renewed in 2020, although she has been the trustee of Elvis Presley's property for so many years and makes about $900,000 a year. The same unnamed friend said that at the Golden Globes event honoring the movie Elvis last month, Priscilla and Lisa Marie objected to sitting close to one another. In its comment to the media site, the friend claimed that Lisa didn't want to interact with her mother. It was discovered that Hollywood Foreign Press Association had encouraged the Monchild tandem to sit near one another. They looked to have gone to the event together. Lisa wasn't even the chaperone for Priscilla. Jerry Schilling, the old friend of Elvis, was. She had practically been at odds with Priscilla for the previous seven or eight years. They would only converse if they had no other option. According to reports, Lisa Marie Presley revised her 1993 living will by 2010, and she added her mom and the former business manager, Barry Siegel, as co-trustees. She then sued Siegel for financial misconduct. But after Lisa Marie passed away, Priscilla found a 2016 modification that replaced her and Barry as co-trustees with Riley Keough and Benjamin Keough, plus Lisa Marie's twins Finley and Harper Lockwood. Priscilla claims that the document has a misspelling of her own name and also that Lisa Marie's signature appears inconsistent with her usual and customary signature, which is why she feels the will alteration may have been faked. The insider told the outlet that Priscilla is convinced that the old documents had been forged, even though many others are calling her actions a money grab. Benjamin, the son of Lisa Marie, who passed away in July 2020, and Riley were subsequently revealed to have been nominated as co-trustee to Lisa Marie's trust in 2016. Riley's appointment, however, is being disputed by Priscilla because there are numerous difficulties surrounding it, according to her. The shift, however, was not an error, according to Lisa Marie's friends, who believe that Lisa's desire for her children to receive her trust was quite clear when she made the decision. The source stated, Lisa really didn't feel that Priscilla was doing anything in her best interest. The friend later clarified that at the date of the 2016 revision, Priscilla and Lisa Marie were not even speaking. A source claimed of their mom relationship that they only talked when there was no option. Currently, Riley Keough is on TikTok. The actress shared her first video, and it was definitely funny. In a brief advertisement for their Amazon video series, Keough and Sam Claflin from Daisy Jones and The Six couldn't help but chuckle at the awkward scenario. She captioned it as, we have no idea what we're doing, but we're here. Hi, TikTok. In the video, Kiyo and Claflin had a rocky opening until they started laughing. While the video is only 17 seconds, they appear to be having a great time. Her mom, Lisa Marie Presley, passed away one month ago, and this is Kiyo's first TikTok post. It was published on the same day that Amazon unveiled the trailer for the eagerly awaited Prime video series. This gave interested viewers a fresh look just at the adaptation and an exclusive first encounter with one of the new original music from the show, Look At Me Now. The series is being promoted as Lisa Marie's trust is being questioned by Keo's grandma, Priscilla Presley. Joel Weinschenker, managing partner of Elvis Presley Enterprises, stepped out in support of Riley continuing to serve as a trustee in the aftermath of Lisa Marie's passing despite the legal dispute. 
He made the comment while appearing on Sirius XM's Elvis radio. He stated, When Elvis passed away, he left everything to his little girl. He did so knowing that she would be the one to keep his legacy going. I can tell you that Lisa Marie has, without falter, no matter what else was happening in her life, in her career, always been the one to look at what was best for Elvis. Regardless of what somebody else was trying to do, regardless of what another family member was trying to do. And he added, We just want to think about what Lisa would have wanted, and that's what's best for Elvis. She never had a doubt in her mind that that's Riley. And he continued, There's no question on anyone's mind, because Lisa had spoken about it. There are numerous amounts of written information. She had talked to so many of her friends about it. There was never a question and anybody who's speaking differently isn't looking out for Elvis, isn't looking out for Lisa, certainly isn't looking out for Riley. Riley Keyo and Priscilla Presley are still in mourning over Lisa Marie Presley's passing, but it appears that they are not communicating. Things have been extremely stressful and upsetting for Lisa Marie's mother and daughter ever since Priscilla opposed a suspicious 2016 modification to Lisa Marie's will that replaced her and former company manager Barry Siegel as trustees. Riley and Priscilla aren't communicating at this time, but have been in communication through lawyers, an insider divulged to a news site. The insider revealed that Riley, Lisa Marie's daughter with Danny Keogh, has been mourning the loss of her mother and is heartbroken to have to deal with a trust dispute with a family member. Sources stated that after the ex-wife of Elvis Presley asked a judge to overturn the modification in late January. Both women are reportedly gearing up for a protracted legal battle, even though Kiyo would prefer to resolve this matter privately. The source stated, She is heartbroken that this has turned into a public matter and knows her mother would never want this. The insider continued to say that, Riley is very stressed but is trying to keep a positive attitude. According to a source who spoke to E.T., Kiyo is disappointed with the situation and believes that the legal battle goes against her mom's wishes. The source stated, Riley wants to keep the family together and keep Lisa Marie's legacy in a positive light, but she feels that her grandmother's actions are pushing the family apart even more. And added, It's upsetting to her as she does want to have a relationship with Priscilla but at this point in time, they are not close. What could make Riley and Priscilla mend their relationship? Comment your answers in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Please give us a like if you had fun watching. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Hit that notification bell and we'll see you in our next